What you're looking at here is the totals that I have for each employee, the sales that they made from January through April. And I want to be able to look that up down below in this mini table to return the level that they're at in sales, like are they in the silver club, the gold, or the diamond. So the silver is more than 500 but less than 800, and then gold is more than 800 but less than 1,000, and anything 1,000 and over is going to be in the diamond. To do that, I'm going to be using the lookup function, and the definition of the lookup function is that it's going to look in one row or column range, the column range, also known as the vector range, for a value and return value from the same position in one row or column. So let me show you. Let's go ahead and type in equals, then look. There we go. Looks up a value either from a one row or one column range or from an array provided for backward compatibility. That's the array. We're going to be using the vector. Let me show you. With it highlighted, hit the tab key to pop open the function and you get two choices. We're going to be using the vector because the array is for backward compatibility with other spreadsheet programs. So to choose the top one, we'll just start typing. The first argument that we're looking at in bold is the lookup value. Either go ahead and type it in or select the cell in this case that we have the value in, which is going to be H7. Then hit comma on the keyboard to go to the next argument within the syntax, and that's the lookup vector. Where do you want to look this number up? It's going to be down below in this row. So click and drag to select the row, and then comma to go to the final argument in the syntax. And what's going to be the results after it looks up that number in that range? It's going to come from that range to get our level silver, gold, or diamond. Then hit enter, and hey, isn't that spiffy? Then, of course, you probably want to go ahead and copy and paste it, but if I hover over the lower right-hand corner to get the black cross and click and drag it or double-click really fast, it's not going to work because, as you recall in earlier training videos, that the references are relative. So when you double-click, it references that, but as I go down one row, then everything here is going to go down a row. So it's going to reference that as the lookup and the blank row down below as the return or the resultant vector, and that ain't going to work. So I have to tell it to stay and be absolute and not be relative and adjust as I copy and paste the formula down from one row to the next. So we've got, let's see, this is row 13 and 14. So if I come up here for the lookup row, there's 13. Let me just go ahead and place a dollar sign in front of it, which means absolutely stay in row 13. Don't move as I copy and paste the formula down. And also, because we're going from column I over to column A, but still in the same row, we need to add it for row 13 for column K. And then also the resultant vector, the results therein, are going to be row 14. So I need to add a dollar sign from column I that it starts, and then the end before 14 and column K. Then hit enter, and then select the cell, lower right-hand corner, get the black cross, double-click really fast, and fabulous. So you can see when I double-click on any one of them, it keeps it absolute. Make sure that the lookup vector and the result vector are always going to stay in the same row and not change as we go down. And those dollar signs or absolute references keep it that way, absolutely lutely. Let me go ahead and hit the escape key and to see if it works with the diamond. I can go ahead and increase the cells over here so it increases the total here, which should set the level higher if I get a thousand or over to be in the diamond club. So if I just type in something like 500, Hey, isn't that over a thousand? Yes, so he's in the diamond. Now one final thought, but if it's not obvious, make sure that the numbers that you use when you use the lookup vector is in ascending order. If it's not sorted ascendingly as you see it here, and you put in something like, oh, let's do 900 and type it in here, you're going to get issues. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.